Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech. Now, if you see my little trailer on Instagram, I'll leave a link right here in the description. Then you know what's about to happen. Now, my my mods reached out to me and they decided to send me these two radiators, a 60 millimeter radiator and a dual 60 millimeter radiator so they could put together a water cooling solution for embedded devices like the Raspberry Pi or Odroid or anything like that. Now my next project with this same kit, what I'm planning to do is actually water cool my 3D printer. So with an open mind, you can actually water cool anything and this is the solution for you. So let's get started. Now before we get started, I do want to say that someone did mention that I had the loop the wrong way and that he is completely right. I, I don't know what I was thinking. I am I apologize for that. So now I actually have the loop going to the radiator, then the radiator to the CPU itself. That, that's fixed. Two, another thing to mention is my ambient temperature. Now my ambient temperature in the basement or where I have my projects and stuff like that is about... 85 degrees i don't know if you can see that it's about 85 degrees down here so if you're wondering hey i could fan cool my raspberry pi and it gets 50 degrees celsius that's because i'm dealing with almost 90 degrees temperature where i'm recording and i do all these projects so you gotta keep that in mind this setup i have the single 60 millimeter with two fans to push pull and the height of it is almost the same as the reservoir itself and it looks really cool like this so the next setup is the dual 60 millimeter radiator where i have the four fans push pull configuration. Now, if you want to see how I set this whole thing up, take a look at my previous video where I put everything together. In this, I'm just showcasing what I've done and I'm, I'm going to be extracting the temperatures uh, with these two radiators compared to my 120 millimeter radiator. So here's my third setup. Um, I don't have temperatures for this because I just started putting this together and I haven't really pushed this to a full amount yet but I put this together I 3d printed the rack so I could stack them on top of each other and now I have my clustered water cool uh, raspberry pies the tests are exactly the same as 120 millimeter radiator I'm gonna be running a benchmark with 20,000 primes and then I have a little script that monitors the temperature and tells me what the peak temperature is at the time so here are the list of temperatures now originally you've seen this chart before it's the 120 no fan and here are the temperatures in Celsius. Now on the six single 60, you gotta keep in mind that I have fans on this now. So the readouts are lower because I have the push-pull configuration. Now at stock speeds, you're gonna notice 51 degrees Celsius, which is a lot better than uh, the 120 already with no fan. Then moving forward, you see the 54, 55, and then at the 1.4 gigahertz, it's 56 degrees, much lower than the non no fan 120. Now the dual, uh, on the stock speed, you got the 50 degrees Celsius. Then uh, well, I'm just going to skip over the middle and you're going to see the overclock 1.4 gigahertz is 56.4. So the temperatures between the single and the 60 are very similar. So I don't see much of a change there. Because it's such a small footprint that you got to cool, you're not going to reach much lower temperatures than this. And keep in mind, my ambient temperature is about 85 degrees Fahrenheit. So thanks for watching my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys have any questions, leave it in the comments below. If you want to know where you can get this kit or look at all the cool stuff they have on their website, check it out. It's modmymods.com. I'll leave it in the description below. If you like this video, please hit that like button. If you haven't done so already, hit that little subscribe button. And as I say in my nerd cave, hack till it hurts.